I'm here with Dan Pascott from the World Blind Union a delegation. And Dan, can you give a, just a, a brief introduction about who you are and who you work for and what you're doing this week at the World Intellectual Property Organization and what, what you, how you think things are going? I'm the Vice Chair of the World Blind Union's Right to Read campaign. And we've been working on a campaign for several years now to get a treaty for blind and other print disabled people here at the World Intellectual Property Organization. And uh, in terms of how this campaign is going, it's too early to say. They've been talking about education so far rather than literally uh, impaired treaty, which we're after. Uh, that discussion starts tomorrow. But our big concern is what is going to happen with the text that was negotiated between the last meeting and today. When are we going to see that text on the table? What, what do you think the uh, main stumbling blocks are to getting a recommendation for a diplomatic conference? There should be no stumbling blocks for doing that now. It's very difficult for me to try and conceive of what possible stumbling blocks there could be. The text is almost done. There are three key issues still to resolve in that text, but that's certainly within the scope of the, the minds in the room to, to solve. And thereafter, there should not be, in theory, any question over whether we have a treaty or some other instrument. If you look back to the audiovisual treaty that was just signed a couple of weeks ago in Beijing, there was no discussion about whether that should be a treaty or or soft law recommendation or other. It was just assumed that that would be a treaty because that's what WIPO deals with, and the same should apply to us. So what you're saying is that the issue of uh, the nature of the instrument should be resolved this week in favor of saying it should be a treaty? We have this week and next uh, this committee run, so by the end of next uh, week's meeting, uh, this should certainly be the case, in my opinion. It's certainly feasible this week and next to finish or more or less finish the text and to call for the General Assembly in October to recommend a, to that General Assembly that there be a diplomatic conference in 2013 to conclude a treaty on visually impaired and print disabled people. Can you uh, characterize the European Commission and the United States government position in the negotiations? Well, the European Commission is, uh, and the European Union as a whole, because it's not just the Commission that's involved in the EU negotiations, have been very negative. The Parliament has been strongly in favour of the treaty, but the, the Commission has been reluctant, uh, and the Council, the Member States, that is, against. That has all been evolving over the last few months, thanks to a lot of pressure from Parliament. Um, and we're now in a position where the Commission is committed to a treaty, Parliament is for it, and we're waiting to see whether the Member States back it as well. And the proof of that will come in this meeting, I think. We will see how they behave in, in practice. And then in terms of the USA, it's very difficult to know. Um, perhaps you need to ask one of your USA colleagues who've been talking more closely with the government than me. But they're somewhat enigmatic as far as I can tell. Has the United States government uh, agreed that it is going to, the nature of the instrument will be a treaty? I have not heard them say that. And are you aware of any other country that is uh, unwilling to say that the nature of the instrument should be a treaty other than the United States government? I'm aware of countries within the EU that say that they don't want a treaty or have said that in the past or that they're reluctant to have one. And they say that informally normally rather than in this meeting. But the EU negotiates as a block and we wait to see what their position this time round is on that. Um, in terms of other countries, I'm struggling to think of a country I've spoken to who has said no treaty. Is there anything else you'd like to add, Dan? Just a conclusion that this is doable. This is very, very doable. We should be able, by the end of next week, to get an agreement on the text, or at least 99% of the text agreed. We should be able to get a call for uh, the G GA in October to recommend a diplomatic conference for a treaty in 2013. And any less than that, really, would be a big disappointment for the World Blind Union. Thank you, Dan. Thank you very much. Thanks.